put a new batch of Amstrad's in. So far, no good. So this, I've got this one, I've just given it a wash. It seems to be basically the last of the 464s because it's got an even shorter board than the short board one I've got. This is a long board one, but it's got the shallow keys, which means it's ribbon cable. Um, it's not powering on at all. And I think the reason is, well, there's no continuity on the switch, on off switch, um, in either position. So maybe that is the problem. Um, so what is that in now? That is off. Okay, so that's off. That's on. And there's no continuity there. So maybe it's just a duff switch. So, oh, let's get this whole thing out. Everything needs a clean. Put new belts on. Belts are probably okay. Oh, I'll probably put new belts on. Um, probably want to take these keys off when they're a bit bleh. And of course, the keyboard probably needs a clean. Sorry, let's zoom out a bit. Um, right, oh, of course, as usual. I don't know what it is about these tape re tape counter resets. So I would like to wash the whole thing, which means taking everything out. Um, <clears throat> but let's just see if we can if we can fix the switch first before we get too far. Okay, so it does look like that we can maybe pull it apart. We've got some metal tabs here that should pull that front section off and then we can get get inside it so I will try that okay I've just moved the claws aside it's coming out okay I don't want everything just to jump out at me and I don't know what goes where okay okie dokie so Oh yeah, it's kind of like um, a 20 switch. So, let me, so that bit goes, I don't know if you can see it, goes just slides across, got some lubrication on it, and um, switches the switch. Okay, so let me, Try and remember, I'm just going to take a photo. Okay, photo is done. That probably won't come out then, will it? Oh, there we go, it does come out. So that's what we've got inside. So we've got the two contacts. And so for some reason, this bit here wasn't making contact properly. Looks pretty simple. Doesn't it? Mm hmm. So should it be stuck down or something? Gonna be fun getting this back in. Okay, so it sits in like that. So I must push push the right hand side down while still keeping the left hand side in contact. Once it's once it's across that side.
Oh, no, 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 okay, once it's that side, okay. All right, so that side's always in contact and we're pushing that side down. Okay, right, now I understand. Pushing that side down. So we hold it like that. Again, this is where I need three hands. Okay, let me just give it give it all a bit of a clean and put it back together and see if it magically works. Okay, nothing special, just trying this from uh Jcar. See if it does the see if it does the does the job. And where's the metal bit? So that's the bit that makes contact. I wonder if it has to be bent down anymore. No, it should be all right. Go in there, get in there properly. Let's try that again. Around this way. So that's what the piece looks like. I'll zoom in. So that's what the piece looks like. And sorry about my grubby, grubby fingers. So it goes in basically like that. We've got a little end bit down. And then there's this kind of little indents there that lock in place in between there. So. So down, I'll just be using I think that's it. There we go. I think that's it. Just a little bit of a clean, it's just got some gunk on it. Okay, I'm getting it back together. Don't know if it works, but I think it's easier just to get back together and test it. Okay. So I think that should be on in that position. No, still not. No. Maybe I need to bend it down more or something. All right, let's go back in. Just verifying with another one. So, nothing. Okay, so yeah. Let's have another shot. these claws too much. Okay. Now we can just take one end off. Yeah, okay, just one end off. Alright. Maybe I should open up the working one. <laughs> or is that pushing my luck? Hmm, okay, let me have a think. Okay, so my thinking was that maybe it was too flat so that when when the switch is being going to the on position and so pushing down, 
it still wasn't making contact. So I'll vent it a little bit down and it seemed to work. You don't want to bend it down too far, it's always on. So my apologies, yeah, it's probably all right. So let me put this back together and see if this works now. Okay, it works now, but it doesn't have a satisfying click anymore. So So it's working, but not that satisfying click, so I'm not too happy with it. So, but we'll see if it, um, if that was all that was causing the machine not to work. Okay, get it right back together. That speaker cable goes just under that I think there we go okay so one side's got an earth wire so we need to get the earth wire from the data set make sure it's included and we've got to get the volume cable out of the way as well <laughs> all right let's get the volume cable out of the way first all right wrong nope missed it all right let me just do this one actually you know what I think it's better to do this <laughs> that side first. I think that way we're in the right spot. Sort it. Let's go over the speaker cable. And then the speaker cable's in the way again. <laughs> Not speaker cable, volume cable, sorry. That's a bit of a satisfying click. Let's see if it still works. Okay. All right. I'm in a truth. Hey. There we go. Nothing on the screen though. It's drawing about 600 milliamps. We got plugged in. Okay. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's him. Power's in. LEDs on, 600 milliamps. No sound, no screen. So some other issue with it. But at least the power, <laughs> power button's fixed. <laughs> 